Hey everybody, welcome to Post to Post. It's Neil here, and I thought we'd discuss the most recent news in the jersey ad world, and that is the Montreal Canadiens putting a new sponsor on their jersey. When I first saw this news, I thought they were getting rid of the RBC logo and it's going to span both home and away. And then I actually read the article and didn't just look at the headline and realized that it's just for the away jersey. So the RBC logo will be staying on the home jersey. Let's take a look at the photos of what they have now on their home jersey. What's new with the Air Canada logo on their away jersey? Give our opinions. Let's bring up the first image here. And this is uh, their home jersey, obviously. And you've got the RBC logo on there. We've already kind of, we've talked about this. I haven't done every team, but I've done a few teams. And Montreal was one of the teams that I did discuss. And at the time, and I still have the same opinion, I'm not really a big fan of that. Uh, okay, first of all, blanket statement, just to confirm, I don't like any ads on any jerseys, just for the record, they should not be there. But if they're gonna be there, I find that one stands out a little bit uh, a little bit too much. It doesn't blend in uh, enough. The actual shade of blue, it looks accurate in this photo. I know last season, it was inaccurate. So I don't know if they've adjusted it for this season or it's just this photo, I'm not sure, but um, it doesn't it doesn't look as bad as it did last year, so maybe they did adjust it, but it's still too big. It still stands out a little bit too much. Uh, let's go to the new one, which is the away jersey, and it's the Air Canada logo. And if you don't know what Air Canada is, it is the primary aviation company in Canada. We also have WestJet, we've got Porter, but Air Canada is, uh, is the bigger of the two between WestJet and Air Canada. Um, and it is the worst airline. <laughs> it is terrible. If you like look online, like search like, worst airlines in the world. Air Canada is probably in the top 10 on at least half of those lists out there on different sites and stuff. It really is, I can tell you, as a Canadian who has flown Air Canada many times, the worst airline that I've ever flown on, unfortunately. So I don't love the company, uh, but I will say this is objectively much better than the RBC one. And I would go to, as far to say that this is one of the best jersey ads in the NHL on any jersey, home or away. I think it the, the red is, is identical. It also represents Canada. And the Maple Leaf, uh, someone actually said this on Twitter. It was a good question. Uh, don't you, th Neil, don't you think it's weird that there's a Maple Leaf on a Canadian's jersey? Because of the Toronto Maple Leafs, I assume that's what he meant. And uh, I never really thought about it when I saw the, when I saw the jersey ad because um, it's, it's like a Maple Leaf on a Canadian's jersey, this isn't the first time. The first time was in 1910, 1911, and then again in a different uh, iteration of a Maple Leaf logo was 1912, 1913, I believe. So Montreal Canadiens uh, used it over 100 years ago, like 110 years ago, whatever. So a Maple Leaf on a Canadian jersey isn't really that strange. It's just kind of been a while. And also, I believe around 2009, they came out with some anniversary jerseys, which also had a Maple Leaf on there. And uh, to take it a little bit further, if I'm not mistaken, the first time the, the uh, Toronto Maple Leafs used a, a, a Maple Leaf logo on their jerseys, I think it was 1926, 1927, around there. You also had the St. Pat's in the arenas, so there were different Toronto teams that existed prior to 1926, 27. It's complicated, but um, Montreal was actually the first team to use a Maple Leaf on their jersey between the two teams. So. It doesn't feel that weird to me that Montreal has a has a Maple Leaf on their jersey. It's a an insignificant factor for me personally. I can understand how maybe some people would think that that was a little bit strange. But yeah, I think it looks amazing on here actually as far as jersey ads go. And again, just to reiterate, no ads should be on jerseys. I don't like this, but if it's going to be on there, I think they did a pretty good job. I have some other photos here we can take a look at. Uh, just a, a slightly different angle. It looks relatively the same here. Uh, you can see it here in the entire uniform. So. You know, again, it's it. you see it, but it's not really super distracting, kind of like the RBC one, just kind of blends in. The next one, goalie kit. This one's kind of important because goalie kits, you've got stripes on the pads and the blocker and the gloves and the helmets and, you know, it's all custom and stuff. So it's kind of a busy uniform in general, regardless of team. But then the ad just kind of, you know, that little bit more <laughs> busyness in there. But again, it's not really not really that big of a deal. It kind of gets lost and everything on the, on, the, uh, on the goalie kit. And then the next photo, this is just kind of the, the entire team, just from a, a distance, essentially. You can kind of, like, I don't even honestly, barely even notice it in this photo specifically. So I, I'm on board, I guess. I mean, I think they did a pretty good job. Now I will say the most, the weirdest part, I'll go back to the, uh, the first image that we're looking at of the new one. The weirdest part for me isn't the fact that it, there's a maple leaf on there or it ha it's on there in general. It's, it is the fact that it says Air Canada. So back to the Toronto Maple Leafs, their new arena, their same arena, 
renamed, is like the Scotiabank Arena or whatever. Well, to me, it's always been the Air Canada Centre, and it's I'm I still call it the Air Canada Centre. It's always like I just see that like that building to me, Air Canada. It's and it's always probably going to be that way, even though it's Scotiabank has been the. I think six years now, maybe seven, approaching seven around there. So it's the transition has not happened in my brain yet for those names. So it's it's weirder for me to see Air Canada on a Montreal Canadiens jersey than it is an actual Maple Leaf. That's how my brain works. So uh, I'll close this and um, and now it's time uh, for you to leave your thoughts. If you don't mind, if you got a couple of minutes, I would love to hear your thoughts down below. And listen, there's going to be a lot of comments that just say ads shouldn't be on jerseys. If you watch this far in the video, you know I totally agree with you. But just try and be like as objective as you possibly can. If it's going to be on a jersey, do you think Montreal actually did a pretty good job? And as a Canadiens fan, you guys know if you watch the channel, I am overly critical of the Montreal Canadiens. I am not one of those biased fans that think Montreal is great at everything. I'm critical of the, the way they play, the roster, management, their jerseys, pretty much everything. I'm a little bit harsh on them. But I think we have to be objective here. And objectively, I think they did a, a good job. So I'd love to hear your opinion down below. Feel free to disagree with me. I think that's one of the beautiful things um, about the, the community on YouTube is that uh, we all don't have, have, don't have to have the same opinion. But if you have a different opinion than me, just relate respectfully, basically, is kind of what I'm asking. We can uh, still be friends at the end of the day if we disagree. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, would love to have you on board. Hit the subscribe button for more conversations like that, like this, rather. Speaking of that, <laughs> um, soon there will be another video coming on the channel where I discuss a recent change in helmet color in the NHL. So stay tuned for that. That's coming very soon, actually. Maybe later tonight or possibly tomorrow morning. And obviously, we'll do our jersey concept video tomorrow as well. So I hope you can tune in for that one. If you did enjoy this video, hit the like button. We'll talk to you soon. Adios. Thank <laughs> you.